hands. I look like a little boy right now. Ooh. Since it seems like everyone's moving in or out or within New York these days, I thought I'd make a moving vlog, but since I'm not moving, I decided to stay here for another year. I wanted to show you guys where my apartment is as is, like what it looks like now before I change it because I feel like ever since I moved in here two years ago my apartments more or less stayed the same I've added things here and there I'm out of breath I've added things here and there and I think it's just it's time for some change I want to stimulate this feeling as if I were moving that excitement you get furniture shopping getting inspiration interior design inspiration all of that okay go home I brought one more box up I'm gonna box everything tomorrow though because it's Sunday night had a long week just hit in box zero earlier when I was in the office so I don't really want to do any more things I just want to decompress James and I finished Miyazaki's documentary yesterday so we really want to watch The Wind Rises it's Miyazaki's most recent film I haven't watched it yet so I want to get to that. It's around like 8.30 now. I'll do one thing before calling it a night. Because I'm going to be unboxing and moving things around, I want to clean as well. So I'm going to prep some cleaning supplies from Blue Land. I actually sent a box of all of Blue Land's products to James a few months ago. He absolutely loved it. He thought it was very innovative and sustainable. So thank you Blue Land for sponsoring today's video. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. It looks like I'm moving. <laughs> All good. I know this looks almost exactly the same, but it took me all morning and early afternoon to get it to where it is right now. I'm going to put in some finishing touches, just put everything back where it belongs. I look sick. Like, because of lighting. Uh, yeah. Severely underestimated this project. <laughs> Got udon and this veggie roll. Looks pretty good. The question is always one bite or two bites. So yesterday was all about moving things out 
and then putting them back in because if you think about it, that's really what moving is about. But instead of that, we just moved it out of the same place and put it back in a different way, kind of similar in a different way. So today, to simulate another thing that I love about moving is you move into a completely clean, sterile place. So I'm not gonna be able to get my apartment as clean as spotless, but I'll do my best to do as deep of a clean as I can to make it as sparkling clean as I can. Let's start cleaning. Ding, 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 ding. Here, I'm using Blue Lance cleaning products. Their mission is to change how we clean, which I'm all for. You guys know how much I love tidying and cleaning. All the while ending single-use plastic. This is something I don't really think about, how much cleaning solutions come in plastic containers and how most of them are just water and a little bit of detergent or soap, which adds to the transportation costs and eco footprint. This is what got me intrigued. As you guys saw me put together yesterday, you fill the bottle with warm water at home, drop in one of the tablets and the spray is ready to go once the tablet dissolves in minutes. I just use the glass and mirror spray. Blue Lands kit also comes with dishwashing tablets that you can just pop into your dishwasher, laundry tablets that you can just put in the laundry with your clothes, foaming hand soap in an iris agave scent, powder dish soap in a silicone shaker. This was really cool. It's the first time I ever used something that's in powder form for your dish soap. You can save space while you save money and help the planet. If you want to check out Blue Land, you can click the link in my description and use the code Rowena to get 15% off your first kit purchase. They don't ever do this, so jump on it. Getting ready to go to the office because it's still a work day. This little vial that I'm using is Vichy's peptide. See, it's like a very intense dose of vitamin C because we have a shoot today with a legit photographer. This is the first time we're ever doing something like this. So I'm just really prepping my skin so that it's nice and bouncy and glowing. Um, and I need to Bella and I both need to do something about our nails. So we're gonna get our nails done real quick. This isn't the norm. This never happens. It's just today is a, is a very special day because we're getting photogged. Today is a Tuesday. Oh man, it feels like Friday already because it feels like five days has passed already. All right. So that was... Toner, serum, moisturizer. Let's go! I have some time, so just heated up some leftovers. This is kind of like congee, green beans, and I don't know if that's rice or eaterin. And then I'm gonna wash some straws. a life I lead in this city Hurry in to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am? I don't know, it's not much, but it makes me feel good about myself. And that's what's most important. Yes. It's overflowing. Good morning, friends. Let's do the unofficial apartment tour today. All right, so. Actually, let me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wash that real quick. It gets crusty if you just leave it there. Oh, it's still really hot. Good enough. Okay, let's just turn on all the lights so that it's nice and bright. 
I'm actually pretty proud <laughs> of what I was able to do with the kitchen with the limited time that we had of about a day and a half. These are things that have been here. This is a water kettle. It's really cool. I really like the gooseneck and how first you need to take this off. And then... Come on. There we go. Isn't that so cool? This is the best game in the 90s on our parents' Nokia's. We're not gonna talk about this because I just cleaned everything. I don't wanna clean it again. Now this side, it's so clean. If I just move my phone and my camera case, such a beaut. I mean, I moved this, those up here, down here, so I think that helps. These are just a bunch of stuff that my mom sent me that I haven't put away, but I will one day. And super random, I'm growing an avocado little plant here. And it's growing so big already, look at that. Look at that, it's gonna turn into this eventually. Um, but anyway, coming back here. This is from the container store. I love how this is stackable, um, and yet there's like a huge reach area opening. <laughs> that you can grab things if you want. I had these before, if you guys remember, and I feel like they're cute, but then the way that they're shaped, they take up a lot of space, and it's also hard to grab things. This is beautiful. I've used it maybe twice. Um, haven't really been cooking a lot or just making food at all here since I've been going to the office a lot more and just recycle trash. I don't know why you guys need to see that, but... Uh, Yes. This is a little note from one of my kids' coworkers, BFFs, who stayed at my place for a bit. This is from my mom. Cannot read that. Moving on to this space, I will move my stuff. getting foam. All right, so this area everywhere in front of me right here is the only place I really changed things around to simulate that moving feeling. I haven't touched anything here yet, so you guys will see maybe for the last time my apartment in this arrangement. Maybe not. Depends if I have time to actually move things around this week. Let's start with this corner. I feel like this is one of your guys' favorite corners of my place. I'm gonna sit you guys down here and we can chit chat for a sec. A little bit about the aesthetics of my place. I didn't go into any of my apartments thinking like, oh, I know this is exactly how it's gonna look. My previous apartment, if you guys remember, was super sterile, super white, I think because I was going through a letting go phase. That season called for just bare minimum. I was really starting from scratch, from my surroundings, from my heart, from my mind, from just everything. I just stripped everything away. And then I feel like when I got into this apartment, I started adding things into it, be it color, be it prints, be it plants. So again, I, I really don't know how I would categorize the aesthetics of my place. Um, it is pretty white with pops of pastel colors. So yes, maybe I just described it there. And even more recently, I started getting a lot more decorative pieces. I think for the longest time I was like, I don't know, the apartment's good as is. Why do I need to get so many things to cl clutter, c c cl clutter it even more? But I realized through 2020 that since if we're gonna be spending so much time in a place, might as well make it something that you love, make it something that speaks to your soul. So you guys will see. Okay, going back. So this is a wall of little notes that came with flowers that James would send, photos, Polaroids of my favorite people. These are some birthday cards, thank you letters. They're just all here. This rack is from Amazon and these hooks are also from Amazon. Because I moved around so much, I love, love, love these 3M hooks. And this one, I just got a clear one with the clear tape so that it doesn't stick out too much. But yeah, I didn't really want to drill holes in this place because I 
honestly didn't know how long I was gonna stay. Moving down here. This is a plant that I've had since my old apartment. Do you guys remember how small it was? Look how big it is now. I wanna share a secret. I feel like these money plants look really cute when they're little, but when they start growing, it starts looking a little scary. Um, but we won't, we won't tell him, even though I'm saying it right in front of him. Um, under here is my bookshelf. This is from CB2, but I got it off of Craigslist. If you guys live in a big enough city like New York, I would say look for furniture on websites that you love and that you, you know, that fits your aesthetic. And then go on Craigslist to Google the exact name of that item because more often than not, you'll be able to find all of that. So for example, this Big Dipper lamp that everyone has, I also got that off of Craigslist. All right, moving on. Here's just books. I'll link a every single book I've read video and what they taught me. Yes, turning around to the dining table. I was just uploading something for one of my coworkers. This is a B-roll list. Um, we're done with that, so let's just... Close that, and yes, here's a eyelash that's just hanging out because it happens. This dining table is from West Elm. It is one of my, my first big, big purchases along with this dresser that I'll show you guys later. And I love it. It's very, it's very sturdy and has a lot of character. And I just knew I wanted a round dining table. So when I saw this, I was like, you are the one. This Spirited Away print. <laughs> is from Joms. He gifted it to me for Valentine's Day, threw me on a little scavenger hunt. Um, he also gave me this puzzle that the camera is on that we'll talk about later. These two lights are both from Article. I put them here because I really don't know what I wanna do with my lighting situation. So right now, they're just right next to each other. This is another print from Etsy. It is of Haku. The White Dragon and Spirited Away. I don't know why there's body lotion here, but I guess it looked kind of nice, so I just love to hear. My parents in Taiwan seems like a long time ago. I think this was like 2018. The book that I'm currently reading is so good. I just started, I'm literally 12 pages in, but so good. More books down here. Now to the living space. Here is the dresser. Here is the puzzle that I finished. There used to be a bunch of stuff on there, so I just put it down here for now. I also realized that because of the shape of this, if you put too many books on there, it actually weighs it down. So I think this is actually a, it's a pretty nice table mat. Until I frame it, this will be here until further notice. This couch, you guys seem to love this couch. It's from Ikea. I've had this couch since my previous apartment. I love it. It's gotten the job done, but I feel like it's time for change. I don't know what I'm gonna change it to. There's a pink couch that I'm eyeing. There's also that cloud couch from Reformation Hardware. I don't think I'd get it from Reformation Hardware because it's so expensive but I may see if I can find alternatives elsewhere. This is a little, ooh, I can actually put something in here. It's a tissue box holder. Oh, I feel bad. Oh, I feel bad. Oh, this feels weird, but it's in. And now the shark looks like it's a snake that ate something. <laughs> looks pregos. Well, now if my nose is sniffly, all I have to do is, what else? What else, what else, what else? The last corner on this side would be this little stool from Serena and Lily. I love the two-tone colors of this. Some books here. I'm also still trying to figure out what I want to do here. Um, so there's that. Here's my tripod and I'll move to the side. This little corner of my space, I think sparks the most joy in my life. This dresser is from Mustom. Along with this were my first big, big, big girl purchases. A little print. Oh my God, this is actually so heavy. This is my view from my dorm when I was studying abroad in HKUST, Hong Kong. A photo of me and my parents. This little frame that I absolutely love 
is from Ikea. These candle holders are from Amazon. These two candles, ombre candles, I believe are from Urban Outfitters. Yes. So the jewelry stand is from Amazon. This is actually a little music box gift, music box gift that I got from one of my coworkers for Secret Santa. It's amazing. Are you guys ready? Moving on to my bedroom. This is prints from Desenio as well. Or this is from Desenio. I love it. This the place is space, and you can flip it, and it says spaces the place. So whichever mood you're feeling, this is a beautiful star chart of a specific day. One of my most important days in my life. This print I got when I visited Paris for the first and only time. Here's some wedding invitations, wedding photos, childhood photos. This is also from Etsy. Oh, my brother's life purpose list. More photos, more photos. Here's my bed. Here are the prints that I've had up since I moved in. This is a very old and used lamp that is secondhand. I've also moved a few prints down here. Okay. And this little corner. I feel like there's, this is the only corner in my space where I have a pretty clear idea of what I want to do. I don't know if you guys have seen like the, the mosaic print, maybe not like this, but like the mosaic printed square cube nightstand. I want that for here. I think as is, it's good enough, but it's a bit low. I'd like it a bit higher. This, uh, <sighs> actually don't sit here at all. Um, it just gathers dust and gathers my clothes, but I'm thinking of moving this outside here to maybe put in that corner shift the couch around, shift all of this around. So that's that. Here's the bathroom. Here's my closet. Here's another coat closet. I'll share, show you the coat closet because it's just coats. Um, however, these two I'll show you guys another time. All right, so that is, that is my space. It's amazing how changing a few small things here and there can make such a big difference in how you feel. I feel so much lighter. I don't know if you guys can tell, um, but yeah, just going through all of your stuff, getting rid of things that you don't need, donating, giving away, selling, whichever. And yeah, I think another thing is it's easy for us to feel FOMO. It's easy for us to see other people doing things, change, moving, and you want to do it too, um, and feel sad or any, you know, not the most positive feelings. But I hope this shows you guys that you can simulate anything you want. Yes, even though I didn't move, I feel like I just moved back into this apartment. It being this clean, I can't wait to change everything else. All right, and if anyone is wondering, this shirt is from YesStyle and these pants are also from YesStyle. I love this. The fit is amazing. It feels great. The material's not the best, but it's fine. It's YesStyle. All righty. I'll see you guys in next week's video.